What's up guys and welcome back to my series called Things They Don't Tell You About. Um, this is episode 2 of the series and it's called Things They Don't Tell You About Anxiety. So in this series I'll be talking about anxiety and the stuff that they don't normally talk about. But yeah, enjoy! So anxiety itself is not a medical condition, but a natural emotion that us humans have. An anxiety disorder develops when this reaction becomes exaggerated or out of proportion to the trigger that causes it. Experiencing anxiety occasional is very normal and it's a normal human emotion to have. So any situation where they have to make decisions or even other small things gives them really intense fear and anxiousness and makes them nervous about it and also involves repeated episodes of fear that reach a peak within minutes which is what they call anxiety attacks and they can sometimes occur unexpectedly for no apparent reason but they can also be linked to specific tri triggers that makes the person feel that way um, and there's many types of anxiety there's general anxiety disorder or there's separation or there's even social anxiety. So it just all depends on your symptoms and what you feel in order to break it down into a more specific anxiety when it comes to getting treatment or even going to the doctor for it. Um, but yeah. Most causes for anxiety are traumatic events. So if anyone experienced traumatic events like in the past where they were in a situation that they weren't comfortable being in, that may trigger or start an anxiety disorder or even medical causes like diabetes, rare tumors, and drug misuse could all be linked to anxiety as well. The symptoms of it are increased heart rate, trembling, feeling nervous, having difficulty controlling worry, and having the urge to avoid things that trigger anxiety. So if you go to, for example, with social anxiety, if you go to a certain place, that triggered your anxiety, then obviously you wouldn't want to go there again because of that fear that, oh my goodness, what if it happens again? Or what if you're in the same situation again, which nobody wants to be. But that may also cause you to not go out as much and cause you to not want to be in situations. But yeah. There are many different types of treatment you could get because even though it's not completely curable you can find ways to cope with it so like getting doing exercise or getting enough sleep or even going and talking to a therapy or to a trusted adult or someone you trust with your emotions and not keeping it inside and bottling up all emotions because that will make it worse and that will cause even more anxiety or even other stuff that it could lead to which nobody wants. So like talking to someone about how you feel and what emotions you're having is very helpful and can help a lot. Hence why people go to therapy as well. But yes, talking to a trusted adult and or going to therapy help not cure the anxiety but cope with it and make it much more easier for you to be able to live with it. Yeah. So, the things they don't tell you about anxiety is people with anxiety have short-term memory loss. That is the one thing that I am just now hearing, even myself, is that people with anxiety have short-term memory loss. Which is very relieving to know because, like, for instance, for me, yes, I have anxiety and I tend to forget things a lot and I always think that oh my gosh it's a problem with my brain because I have really bad memory but turns out when I heard this I'm like that makes a lot of sense so when someone with anxiety like you talk to them and let's say next day you ask them or tell them about what you talked about and they don't seem to remember it's not because they didn't listen to you it's just because they don't, you know, their memory is really short. Anxiety disorders are linked to other common health conditions. So just like how you would be there for someone who's physically ill, what people don't realize is that even being mentally ill can cause physical illness and can cause you to have 
other health conditions like blood pressure and other stuff that could cause obviously death and stuff like that but um yeah also anxiety is not a choice this is one thing that I want to like literally everyone to know nobody chooses to have anxiety I'm gonna say that again anxiety is not a choice you don't wake up one day and say oh I want to have anxiety and then just all of a sudden have anxiety it's not how it works anxiety is like I said caused by traumatic events or things that happen in your life that builds up inside and causes you to have it it's not something that someone's like oh let me choose to have this also you can't tell someone who's anxious to just be happy or think positive or you'll get over it because that's first of all the worst way to be there for someone is tell them those things because like I said nobody chooses to have anxiety and it's not like the people with it don't want to be positive or don't want to be happy they try their best to be happy it's just very hard to be happy with the emotions you have because at least for me if I say oh let me just be happy I'm technically ignoring those feelings that I do have which is gonna make it only even worse in the end because then sooner or later I may just explode and be like okay I can't take this anymore I can't be happy so tell someone oh you be happy or oh just get over it oh you'll be fine it's not how it works just being there for them and listening and making sure they're fine and asking them what you can do for them is the best thing you can do if you're not like a professional therapist and if you have like, a friend or family member that's open to you about it and but yes yeah, so just being there helps a lot and I'm gonna say this again probably even more times it's not a choice it's real it's not a choice nobody wakes up and says hey I want to have anxiety and it's not something to be like like it's not a trend having anxiety is not a trend it's something that's serious that people do really suffer with so if you don't really have anxiety saying oh I have anxiety and like you know like smiling laughing about it is also a big no because there are people who actually do suffer with it and it affects them on a daily basis so it's something that people should be serious about with any mental disorder not just anxiety it should be taken seriously and joking about it is 100% not the way to go but yeah but yeah that's it just remember that you are loved you're enough and you matter and yeah thank you for watching the second episode of my series things I don't tell you about don't forget to leave a like subscribe and comment anything you want to hear or any other topic you want me to talk about because I do have a list of things that I can say but if you guys want specific stuff just let me know and I'll talk about them but yeah bye